Well, hello there, YouTube. Welcome to kind of a breezy Wednesday, the 10th of April. It's uh, not raining at the moment, which is very nice. It feels very, very, feels fantastic out here. Very peaceful feeling. It's one of those mornings you just want to go for a walk or something out in the woods. <laughs> anyway, let's start hump day. Woman's out here probably going, what is he doing? Hey, Almost said his name. It's cold and rainy. It's cold and rainy, bone dry out there, Mama. Well, Feels it fantastic. Well, it was raining earlier. Oh yeah, I didn't see everything was wet. Yeah. That's a very peaceful feeling to it. I love it when it's like that. I know. A little breeze out there. It's nice. Like I was saying, I just feel like going for a little walk out in the woods or something. I know it. Being with nature. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's roll, Mama. All right. He's definitely looking like a spider kind of a day. Got a brake switch on this 2016 RTS. They all start to blend together after a while. But uh, anyway, got that off. Um, she's gonna come pick this up today. She's having it wrapped, which ought to look pretty cool when it's done. And then this is a 2012 from our uh, Pro Caliber store in Bend, they're not set up to do the laser alignments yet. So the owner, all the way from Bend, Oregon to here, brought it in. I'm going to do an alignment here, like right now. They're in the middle of doing something to it. You can see body covers and stuff are off on it. I have no idea what they're doing. Or maybe this is the way the customer brought it to them. But uh, anyway, that's not going to stop me from doing a laser alignment. It's got new tires on the front. I guess they were wearing funny, which back in those days uh, the alignment was not very, it was not very good on them. It was um, highly advisable to get them laser aligned. So anyway, that's my first challenge of the day. Then I'll put her together so she can pick it up this afternoon to to uh, bring it to the place somewhere in Oregon that's going to do the wrap on it first thing in the morning. All right, let the spider day begin. Busting it out down here. Got all my spiders done. Waiting for parts on beamers. Woo! That white balance is janky. Sorry about that. It's an auto white balance and it freaks out with these lights in here. But this has been the weather all day. Just nasty wet out here. That's a mess. Oh well. Gotta have some of these bad days. That's what makes the Pacific Northwest green. What makes my lawn jump up like a jungle too. <laughs> man, oh man. Flat burning the midnight oil today. Yeah. 46 minutes late getting out of here today. <laughs> uh -huh. And everything is red. That is nasty looking. Just straight up nasty looking. Uh, That's ways. That's going to guide us home because we don't need it tonight. Yeah. You leave this late and you get traffic nightmares. Yeah. All right, Ma, let's head on north. All right. Holy moly. What in the world is going on? <laughs> it took another 16 cent a gallon jump since I was here day before yesterday. It was 319 then. Wow. Crazy. It does. Uh, <laughs> I was just sitting out here looking and I realized there ain't no rain here. It's been pouring the whole way here. Look at the old Harley trailer over there. Look at that old gal boy. She's traveled some miles. That thing was back around when the knuckleheads were around. No, it's not that old. Although KGM is a company that that deals with uh, bikes. They assemble bikes and stuff up in Kent, Washington. They have a bunch of those old um, the old white Harley trailers. You remember them? That's pretty cool. Heck, it's actually almost nice out here. Kind of cool, though. Boy, old Mother Nature, she's paying us back big time for those nice days we had. She goes, I hope you had fun, because bam, winter's back. Forget about spring. Boy, she can be cruel sometimes. <laughs> Mama? Yes, Did you see that daggum gas went up to 336.9? Oh my god. It was 319.9 here the day before yesterday. That's crazy. 
going to have to take a loan out just to go to work. Yeah, we're going to have to start riding the daggum motorcycle or something. Here. Well, I would but we'll have if to, it would ever start raining. Have to put the uh, seat on the back of the Riker and start riding the Riker. <laughs> I know. But I don't think that thing gets the. I think I get better gas mileage on the GSA than I do the Riker. GSA is very comfy. Yeah. So. Very comfortable. I remember the first time I rode her on one was the old Stormtrooper. If you guys remember back when on that. That was we, shocked how comfortable yeah. it was. She goes, I think that's the most comfortable motorcycle I've ever ridden on. Yeah. And then we rode a GS exclusive back and it was literally the most uncomfortable. Yeah. Do not buy the comfort know. seat for a GS or GSA. No. Wow. No. That's like sitting on a pillow and that is not a good thing on a motorcycle in case you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it does not, it does not do well for our hineys anyway. No. Whew. Plus, you know, the, the seating area is smaller on a GS than it is on a GSA as well. Yeah, so you're locked in. Yeah, I feel yeah. locked in. I feel like I'm riding on the stock Iron 883 seat. It's comfortable at first, and then she comes back to bite with a vengeance. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not good. Why, GCs? We're on the other side of the freeway from you. <laughs> <laughs> This rain's making me punch drunk. I think so. You're not you're not sure what to think of the camera, huh? <laughs> Hi there. Hi there. <laughs> Hang tight. We're gonna talk about this little guy. Okay. So this started out nicknamed Sparkles because his eye seems sparkly. So his name became just Spark, or we call him Sparky because he's still a puppy. He's Shepherd, um, Siberian Husky, Lab, and Border Collie mix. And he looks Ke like a shepherd. <clears throat> yeah, he looks like a shepherd. Kelly just absolutely fell in love with him, and that dog loves her. It's it's like Sasha and myself. <clears throat> he sits on her lap. He gives her lots of loves and kisses. Now he's not being all cute. He's done mellowed out. I was in the house holding him there for a little while. <laughs> like right out of the gate. He's like potty trained. It's the craziest thing. He does really good. Set out a little, you know, pee pad. And I think he's used it once or twice. Other than that, he goes out with all the rest of the dogs. Immediately right out of the gate. He's not a runner. He hangs out. We leave him out at work and he just he's right there comes running down the we have to keep getting out of the car and Kelly has to pick him up because he runs to the front of the truck and stops <laughs> don't want him to get ran he, over yeah he hasn't learned to get out the way look yet Sparky yeah. not being all cute we done mellowed yeah. you out too much yeah. huh his ears usually stand up like yeah. that <laughs> and he just so excitable runs around I'll be sitting yeah. at my desk doing the vlogs and I get this little boom he comes in and just says hey he runs back out and jumps in Kelly's lap. <laughs> he goes, I have my dinner. I'm mellow now. And then Madison, she's got this mama thing where she thinks there's a, a flea nest. You know, they'll get a flea nest on the yeah. nook of their neck. And she chews the heck out of him oh. while we're gone at work. I can't put a little shirt or anything on him to keep her from doing it. Because if we're gone and he gets caught yeah. on something. Gets snagged out there in the... Yeah. So it's like, I'm going to put a muzzle on Madison. Yeah. There we go. So she's been putting this medicine stuff, and it makes Madison leave him alone for a while. But looks like she didn't mess with him today. So yeah, not too much. Maybe that's a good sign. Yeah. You can't see it too much. Because it's some kind of weird motherly instinct or something. I know. It. Yeah. There's dirt or a flea or anything like that. they got to sit there and chew and chew and chew and chew and chew. <laughs> he just loves Kelly to death. Yeah. It's the cutest thing. She's sitting there and he just looks up at her like, I love you, mama. He does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, daddy. I love you. <laughs> He's so dang cute. He's like just we need another dadgum dog. I know. But sometimes it's like motorcycles. You just can't resist. Yep. You feel it in your soul like hubby <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. He sure loves yeah. her, though. Good Lord. 
Demetrius, my baby. Huh? Wherever she goes, he goes. She gets yeah. ready in the morning. He's sitting there, her feet in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, you just sweetie. She goes to feed the horses or the horse. And yeah. Whatever he goes, he's out there roaming around with her. He does good. He follows you everywhere. He's a good boy. Yeah. He's a good baby, <laughs> huh? Yeah. That's a cute little guy. Yes. What is it? He's so mellow. He doesn't cause any. <laughs> doesn't whine. Doesn't cry. No, doesn't chew up anything so far. So, he does pretty good. He, he, we did hear he bark last night. Yeah. So Danny, there's this old, it used to be an old end table just sitting out oh. there on the patio. <laughs> I mean, it was like laminated, all the lamination's gone. It's just oh, part, yeah. I mean, the thing needs to be just thrown in a fire and burn, oh, you know. Oh, I would have if Danny didn't love it. Yeah. So. He lays on that he has since he was a puppy. He so up there. I'm sitting there, I got my headphones on and doing my video and all of a sudden all oh, I thought somebody was coming through the door or something. Oh, I yeah. mean all full on clothes. dog freak out. Yeah. So Kelly I said, What in the world? She goes, Well Danny got up on that end table and the curtains were still open and it was dark. <laughs> and all they saw was something looking in. Yeah. Oh my lord. Sasha or somebody walked by the window and seen the face of a dog staring in. <laughs> and that's all it took. <laughs> Holy crap. Man, you ought to hear how loud it is when all them dogs go off. Yeah, that's loud. Man, that's a freak out. It's pretty funny though. Yeah. But anyway, this is a little guy, Sparky. Yeah. His name, we're calling him Spark, but like I said, yeah. he's a puppy. He's got to be Sparky for a little yeah. while. I think he just had his little dinner. He's got a little potter potter yeah. belly going yeah. on there. Got That's got him all mellowed out, too. <laughs> he's got little black spots on his tongue so you can see the lab in him. The shepherd colors are obvious. Yeah. And when he gets excited, his ears go straight up like a shepherd. Oh, yeah. He full on looks like a shepherd. But he's most here. of the time, he's just kind of laid back. Well, do you need to do the lay back? It's the funniest thing. He lays on on his back I'm next not. to Kelly. And she's sitting in her chair. He's so how could you not love that little I face? Know. He's such a cute little guy. Yeah. All right, Mama. You want to spin the camera on the both of us? And All right. Say a quick little goot and bye? All right. All right. Let's scoot over there. Oh, you want oh. Yeah, here, I'll do that. Hang, hang on, I'm going to stop the camera for a second. Well, this ought to trip you out. First time, I mean, first time ever, we've done the vlog backwards. Yeah, he's on my right. The screen is not flipped. Uh, I'm really on her right. <laughs> and he's like freaking out because he's so OCD. It has to be. He's going, oh, this just isn't right. It ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> You're so funny. I can hold the camera out far enough to get all the try of us in here. Yeah. So what do you got to say today, Sparky, huh? Anything interesting? How was your day, baby? Anything important happened today? Good, no. Chase any rabbits or anything like that? No, the moms and aunts do that quite well. <laughs> anyway, work was uh, very spider-oriented today. And I hadn't done one of those seat latches yet. The parts aren't in. But I had a little time there towards the end. and You know, talk, I think I mentioned this about recalls versus repairs. So they give us three tenths to replace that seat latch thing. So I, I pull up the VIN number and just grab that red 850... I think it is, yeah. Grab that, or said, I don't know, whichever one the red one was. But uh, I pulled the vent up on that and went into air to see, you know, what's involved with replacing the seat latch. Well, it shows the labor time right there in that ops. I click on it, seven tenths. So they give us seven tenths to replace one if one was the break under normal warranty. But because there's a bolt on us, they give us three tenths. That's messed up. That's just, that's, that's not, not even right. right. No. That's, but it's, yeah. it's always been that way. I mean, this is nothing new. It might be new to you because I'm talking about it, but it, it still frustrates yeah. us. Heck yeah, very maddening when you know you're about to lose money on something. But yeah, you know, it's part of the. Well, it's just the way it is with cars, motorcycles. Any technician you talk to, you have to deal with it. 
Yeah. And some things, you know, you, you make good time on, and uh, some things you don't. You know, it all washes out in the end. It don't yeah. so good. But anyway, I got that spider, spider down. It was a break switch. It had uh, failed, and uh, kept putting her in a limp, limp home mode, so we replaced the switch on it. We got a lot of miles on that thing. I think she's, I think, I didn't, no, I didn't even look. I think it was like 48,000 or something. She does a lot of cross-country touring, and they're about to take off on a big trip, so. Yeah. And she's about to get it wrapped, so when she comes in with that, if she's cool, I'll uh, I'll film it. That'd be cool. Yeah, she's taking yeah. it first thing in the morning to get it wrapped with, it's going to be a, um, like a veteran's type of a thing, I believe. That's but, really cool. Yeah. <clears throat> Yes. I think he's about out there, Mama. I can hear the heavy breathing I know, going there's on. There's heavy breathing going yeah. down. Well, anyway, I think we're going to call it a night at that. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. <clears throat> Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Thursday or Friday. Yep. Yeah. Good Lord. Hump day is over. I know it. Yeah. Thank goodness. It was, it was a crazy hump day. Yeah. Sitting out here next to the old spee orchards. <laughs> Can't yeah. wait till the weather gets nice and start riding those. those I know uh, it. Do not ride in bad weather. None yeah. Of the, none of the Harleys go out in the bad weather. What cleans the easiest and least damaged? Like, look how dirty that thing is. That's easy to wipe down, it though. It <laughs> takes me no time yeah, to clean big, it. big areas. And that, flat ones. That BMW, this, especially the, the GSA, GSs, GSAs, the water boxers, you know, nothing gets really super hot anywhere, so they're super easy to clean. Areas are easy to access. Harleys, the DR650, man, those things, it takes some time because, you know, a little OCD, you got to have it right, you know. Yeah. There's no half wash job. But anyway, that's it. All right. Say hi, all the Can SV Peaks, Sparky. You're bye. gonna be in more and more. I've Not been kind of well. First time was accident, and then I've been like purposely like throwing him in the area and there. <laughs> all right. Thank you guys very much for watching. Yes. And we'll see you on Thursday. You guys take care. All right. Take care now. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye.